My name is Samantha Dowling, and I'm going to be talking to you about Sybil Ludington, who was one of the women that made their mark on the Revolutionary War. There are many women that supported the Revolutionary War, whether they did so by following their husbands and the troops, and serving as nurses, or just serving the soldiers their meals and water. Um, some of them wrote political propaganda, and others actually went into combat. On April 26, 1777, Sybil Ludington, daughter of Colonel Henry Ludington, heard news of Major General William Tyron's attack on Danbury, Connecticut. After a messenger arrived on their doorstep of the Ludington farm, too tired to carry on, Colonel Ludington's militia was scattered because they had all returned home to plant their spring crops. So Sybil leapt to the reins and her and her horse Star went on a 40 mile night ride through the rain to assemble the militia. Sybil's 40 mile night ride took her through the present towns of Kent and Carmel, which is in Putnam County, and East Fishkill in Dutchess County. Her ride was longer and farther than Paul Revere's, and yet Paul Revere is mentioned far more in history classes and was even immortalized by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride. But finally, in April of 1940, Sybil had a poem written about her by Burton Brayling, a bronze sculpture was made of her and her horse star and placed in Carmel or Putnam County in 1961. And then finally, 1975, a stamp was made to commemorate Sybil. The information that I provided for you today about Sybil Ludington was pulled from the Encyclopedia of New York State. Women Heroes of the American Revolution, 20 Stories of Espionage, Sabotage, Defiance, and Rescue by Susan Casey, and Sybil Ludington, The Female Paul Revere, The Making of a Revolutionary War Heroine by Paula D. Hunt. Thank you and have a great day.